Hey guys, J Poozer Animations here. Uh, I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. I was not aware that my Dinobots Part 2 video cut short and it turned a 30 minute review into a 13 minute review. So Strafe and Grimlock were not shown. Well, Strafe wasn't finished, just Grimlock wasn't shown. So, um, and Slug was not shown as well. So in this video, I will be covering Strafe's robot mode, and we'll be looking at Grimlock. And because I just sent Slug off to a contest winner, I have to redo Slug. So Slug will be part four, and right now we're focusing on Strafe first, then Grimlock. So let's focus our attention back on Strafe's robot mode. You can see he shares the same features that all the Dinobot customs have. The uh, black crests, black knees, black feet, black hands, uh, the dark silver chest here. Uh, this extra light's coming in, you probably can't see it. Oh, you might be able to see it better, I think you can. The dark silver paint right here in the chest and on the head, on the biceps here as you can see, and on the lower legs you can see the dark silver paint and also on his lances i don't think these are swords i think they're called lances because it's like stuff people use to joust or whatever and also they really don't look very sharp or like they can stab anybody but that's just my opinion and then i just added some various blue throughout and he's got the blue in his mouth the blue in his eyes uh blue on the uh, wings i meant to paint these black so they're not like so they're kind of matching to these up here, but uh, I forgot to do that. Uh, it'd also be nice if these could like fold in like under here. That'd be nice too. So here we go. Quick comparison. We'll bring in the usual guy, Drift. Terrible comparison. I know. That is a better size comparison. That works a little bit better. Oh, he's supposed to be like shorter or he's supposed to be taller. The scale works better though. It'd be great if they were like this size. That that works. Like if the Transformers we have were like Creo size. I guess that's Creo size. If they were like that, then that's good scale. So focus our attention on the king now. Let's bring in the king. Here's your before shot of Grimlock. And we're doing this one a little different because I forgot to transform him. And uh, this is like the third time I've tried to upload this video. So we're just going to do robot mode first. Then we're going to focus on the dino bot mode. The beast mode. So, uh, yeah. So there you have that. Here's your before. And here's your after. A full out silver decked out Grimlock. Now you can see the color differentiation here too. Uh, the dark silver here, dark silver on the face, dark silver crest, dark silver teeth, uh, the uh, red eyes, uh, the dark silver right here on his thighs, black, black knees, Black, uh, dark silver shins, black feet, black hands, black dino arms, and everything. Kind of on the back, you can see the same thing going on. And you can notice that his uh, hammer is quite different. I don't remember if I did this in part one, but uh, I uh, took all that extra stuff off the hammer. You know, there was like these two pieces like sticking up like this or whatever. If you have Grimlock, you know what I'm talking about. Um, basically, I shaved all that down and I shaved it out down a lot more so now that he can hold his hammer by the actual handle like he does in the movie, which is actually accurate. And like we do with all things, uh, <clears throat> all things hammer certified, um... I think in part one I also had the problem where this rod here kept coming out of this thing, so I just super glued it on there. I'm not sure if I did that in part one. If I'm he's sounded like a broken record, I apologize. 
and I also added on these spike pieces here. So to test the hammer, we have our test dummies like we always do. Give it a good whack. Give it a good whack. Certified. 100% certified. Let's drag this off. And he can hold it in either hand. So now it fits on and it looks like that from the side. And that at all angles. So he can totally get any kind of pose he wants. I'm sorry. Let me hold this up a little bit. He can get basically any pose he wants with his hammer. And all that jazz. <laughs> Speaking of jazz. And all that jazz. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, so let's transform him into his beast mode. So we're going to put this over here, we're going to transform Grimlock back. Uh, rotate this forward, tap that into the back of the arm, put this down, same thing over here. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. This video is a lot shorter than I anticipated. It's a good thing and a bad thing. Get this tap in like that. Like that. Like that. Like this. Tap that on like that. Looks like a mess right now, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It'll clean up. Like that. Get this all situated. Sorry. Um, it's always fun transforming Grimlock because his transformation is very movie accurate. Because, you know... When you first did the dino transformation in the uh, in that forest area, he did it like a somersault or whatever, and you could totally pull that off with this guy. Totally pull it off. It's so easy to do it in a stop motion video. I will have an opportunity to do a stop motion, and I will show you guys what I'm talking about with that. <clears throat> so, basically, that is his dino mode right there. Brand spanking new and in your face. Grimlock in his beast mode. Uh, I'm impressed and probably more proud of this mode than his robot mode just because he looks awesome. Better than, better than I pictured. I'm not trying to brag on my own work. I'm just saying this guy exceeds my expectations. The only problem is I wish the silver was darker. Like I could find a darker silver like you see here on the front of the box. The color differentiation is a big difference here. So if I can find a darker silver, I will have that in an update video. So, but yeah, you can see the paint apps I applied here uh, for Grimlock in his beast mode. Black feet, black arms, inside the mouth is all black. If I can find a way to install a LED light, I will. But for now, I don't know how. If anybody knows how, please let me know in the comment section below. What else? Red eyes. You can see the red eyes. The light definitely catches it. I had trouble catching it uh, last time when I was filming. This is like the third time for me doing this. YouTube capture, YouTube capture, YouTube capture. I hate you. I hate you. Uh, VHS. No big problem, though. Uh, you can see the black knees there, all these scales on the sides, black tip for the tail, and these dark silver for his heels. I'm sorry, it's blurry. There we go. And as you can see, like, a little bit of paint makes a difference. Obviously, there's a lot of paint. But you can see, like, if we pull this picture back out here, and we're just focusing on the side of the dinosaur mode, you can see all that detail in there. That was not picked out before because it was unpainted. That's that's Hasbro's big problem. They don't paint the details. And fortunately for us customizers, it 
you know, it helps us out a lot. So we get to do the dirty work. So. And just in case if you wanted to see it, I will do this for you guys. And put the tail on. Like that. Just in case you wanted to see it. It's growing on me actually because uh, you can see where it's supposed to tab on. Like if this went further up, like here, and these spikes were a little bit smaller, then it would it would work. And if this was like if it had a way to like turn and be able to lock in place somehow, then it would work. But being that it's just this soft rubber thing that just stays in place. It doesn't really pull it off and this part right here is not helping at all so if these spikes were a little bit smaller and they kept the consistency of the spikes going all the way up to dyno mode made these spikes a little bit smaller and pushed this thing up all the way up to here I think this would totally work it would totally work what they're talking about because what they pointed out is they made they actually did this for a reason because in the movie, Grimlock is like, what, 70 feet long or something like that? And they tried to replicate that with this. And he actually did have a very long tail in the movie. So, you know, it, it works for me, I guess. But I might do some extra custom work with this. Put some more spikes on it or something to, you know, make this look so, not so obtrusive or whatever. Whatever word you want to use. But, um, for now, I just leave it like that. And, go like untabbing everything so we have that so let's bring in the dude who was expecting a giant car giant car meet drift drift giant car and let's bring in there's no way I'm staying down here with them them no way no way them bring Strafe back in, even though I didn't transform him back. You can see the scale. The scale. And just because. Here's Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime. Just because. Terrible scale though, but oh well. It's like real scale, Grimlock would be way off my set. I'm not going to show it. So, yeah. There's Grimlock. The king in his dino mode. Finally finished. Finally accomplished. Finally done. Uh, Dinobots are almost done. I have to do Slug. That's the next project. Um, working on that. Working on 2014 Bumblebee. You will see that soon. That's for JRU Wing 73. We made a deal. If you guys would like to make a deal with me, you know, I do accept. Like, if you want to do a trade, I do accept non painted figures for a custom figure. I will do that for you guys. Or if you guys need something at the store, I can do that too. That's what I'm doing for JRU Wing 73. And I am customizing it. Uh, 2014 Bumblebee. So he will have the. Uh, the Megatron looking gun and his missile pods like he had in the movie so expect that soon expect slug soon and other than that I think that's it for now uh, after I get those two I'm pretty much all the figures on my shelf are pretty much customized it's just a matter of making reviews for them because I still have to do jazz I still have to do Whirl, I still have to do Thunderhead, I still have to do, uh, what's his face? What's his face? Um, Laserbeak, even if, if I want to do Laserbeak. I have to update Arachnid, I have to do Barricade, uh, Nemesis Prime, a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Just, um, as a way to say thank you to you guys. 10,000 views recently came up. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before. If I'm being a broken record again, I apologize. But uh, 10,000 views. Wow. <laughs> Excellent milestone to have on my resume. 
uh, for my YouTube resume, if that sort of thing even exists. If it doesn't, it, ex it exists now. Uh, big thank you to you guys for watching my videos, for supporting me and my channel, supporting my work. Uh, all of you guys who give me tips and feedback, uh, it's greatly appreciated. And I'm indebted to you guys. So, big thank you to you guys. I wouldn't be here without you guys. Please keep watching my videos. Please subscribe for my videos. Uh, and like and share and comment and all that great stuff. So, uh, also, here is a teaser. I'm not telling you guys what this is for. You're just going to have to guess. This right here. Top secret project coming soon. I'm not telling you what it's for. You can guess all you want. I'm not telling you. It's important though. So. That's it for part two. Stay tuned for part three. Thanks for watching. JPoo's Animations. See you guys next time.